Before we go into the 404, I know one he's gonna ask, so there is a 304. We don't floor it because it's a little bit more specialty. It's basically the same as the 204, but it's panel ready, so you can put a custom panel on the front of it, and it has fan-assisted drying. We're gonna look at the 404, and this is kind of the middle of their line, so really a good model for bang for your buck. So this one has the same cycles. It's got your Pro Wash, Tough Wash, Express Rinse. It's got the high temp, the sanitize, the delays, all the things you would be looking for as far as cycles. The big difference with this one is going to be when you go inside, this has the best third rack in the industry. So if you look at this, this is actually a tube that has jets on it. So this actually rotates during the wash cycle to spray water into whatever you put up here. So you'll see it's designed actually for cups, bowls, things of that nature. So you can actually put them up here and there's actually jets that will then wash those items. Whereas the third rack typically doesn't have those specific jets. It still usually does a pretty good job, but this one is specifically designed to push water um, into the things you have on the third rack. And then what's really nice with this one as well is going to be that it has the silverware basket in the top. So if you do plan on using the third rack for silverware, um, one of the big things customers always told me was, I like the third rack for silverware, but I don't like that I can't bring the basket over to the drawer to put my silverware away. Um, you know, sometimes that drawer isn't right next to the dishwasher. So with this one, you can actually still use the third rack, free up the space on the bottom, but not have that pain of carrying all your silverware across the kitchen. So that really is what your big benefit to the 404 model is, is it's got the best third rack here. And then with this one too, you do get the adjustable middle rack. It's on the glide rails still. As cool as this one does have some flip ups for stemware. So if you do want to wash your wine glasses, things of that nature, it is set up for that. And then again, yeah, adjustable up and down so you can put deeper items in this rack. And then again, on the bottom. Another thing though that actually does upgrade with this one is the filtration system. So this one you'll notice has an M in the, the filtration slot, so it's a KDFM, or this one, yeah, KDFM, because it's got the front controls. And the M signifies that it has an advanced clean water system. So that is basically a more advanced filtration system for recycling the water. Um, not to say the triple filtration system still uses clean water. This one's just more advanced, so it does it faster. Um, so it saves you some time and saves you some water, which is always a good thing. And so this is the 404. The one drawback to consider with this one, though, if you are considering the 404, is the 204 was running at 30, 39 decibels, which is whisper quiet, that's about as quiet as a dishwasher comes. This one does jump back up to 44 decibels because of the mechanisms in that third rack. So if you don't really care about the third rack, but quiet is more of your concern, the 204 might actually be a better option for you. Um, so something to consider. And then another thing, just speaking of KitchenAid uh, with where we are in the world right now, there are a lot of really bad supply shortages. So this 404 model, is extremely popular and so therefore really hard to find. So definitely check out the locator tab in our description and get with a product specialist because one of the benefits of shopping with us is that we do offer these out of box models where if you're like me and I have a magnet that I put on my dishwasher that I flip for clean versus dirty, um, you could save a lot of money for a small scratch like that. And if you cover it with a magnet, you wouldn't even know it's there and then you actually save a ton of money and it gives you more options for things that might be in stock nowadays uh, just because that has been a really, really big challenge for a lot of people of finding something that's actually in stock. All right, so now we're looking at the 604 and I know you're gonna ask, Ben, what about the 504? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> KitchenAid doesn't have a 504 on their website. I've never seen one. So I think they must've just skipped that number in the series, but this is a 604, this is next one we floor. And what you notice, very, very similar to the 404. 44 decibels, does have the third rack, has the advanced water filtration system. Biggest difference you're gonna see with this one is that it does have a couple of extra cycle options. So you get a little bit more customization in the delay where you can set that to be 
anywhere between one to 24 hours on the delay. If you don't have a large load and you wanna save some water, you can run just the top two racks. Um, and then this one does come with the fan enabled pro dry system. So that is a combination of heat and fans to help to dry stuff faster. So you don't get condensation in your Tupperware, things like that. Yeah, other than that, very, very similar to the 404. So you get a lot of the same features. Um, biggest reason that a lot of people use this one is yeah, for the additional drying or for the extra customization in kind of your delays. And big one is water saving. If you do just wanna run these two racks and not run the bottom sprayer, saves you some water if you do a lot of smaller loads, um, especially yeah, if you live alone or you, know, you do your dishes frequently. So that's the 604. We don't actually floor the next two models because they are very specialty. There is a 704 model and an 804. And at that point, you're starting to get into some more specialized features. So the 804 has a better version of the glide racks. So those things are very smooth when they roll. There's also interior LED lighting um, and a couple of other higher end features but we don't floor them because they're very specialty and a little bit more on the expensive side. And the only difference between the 804 and the 704 is the 704 is the panel ready version of uh, the 804. So if you do want to do a custom panel where you have your cabinetry match the rest and you don't even really know that there's a dishwasher there until you run it, the 704 is a really good option for that. So just to give you a quick overview of everything that we talked about today, um, starting with the 104, the 104, if budget is your main concern, is honestly a really great entry-level machine from any brand. Uh, as far as an entry-level machine in any lineup, it's probably one of the better ones. Um, so that is a really nice model, and it comes with a lot of good features that you don't typically see in entry-level. Because um, every KitchenAid dishwasher does come with some form of glide racks. It comes with stainless steel tubs in all their models. They all have the signature Pro Wash feature. They all have leak detection. So across the board, you can't go wrong with a KitchenAid dishwasher. They're all really nice, but it really just depends on what you're looking for. So if noise level is your biggest concern, the 204 running at that 39 decibels, which is basically whisper quiet, is the quieted, quietest of the lineup. So if noise level is your biggest concern, that's actually a really good option for you. Um, 404 then is probably the best bang for your buck because you get a lot of the upper level features, but kind of in the mid-range of the models. But because of that, it's actually the hardest one to find right now because of stock shortages. So if you did want to go with that one, feel free, use that locator link in our description and call your nearest appliance factory and one of our product specialists can put you on one of our lists so that if you do want to be on a waiting list for when we get stock of those, they're happy to do that for you. Otherwise, we do have one of the biggest warehouses in the state of Colorado where we have Last I checked, about $30 million of inventory back there. So we get new stuff every day. It's always worth checking to see if we might have any open box uh, items that are in stock that otherwise you might not be able to find. And then if the 404 um, isn't right for you, there is the 604, 704, and 804, which are a little bit more specialized with different drying options and lighting. And those are ones that definitely get with a product specialist so that they can pick the one that's right for you and help you walk through the features. So hopefully that answers all of your questions about the KitchenAid dishwasher series. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out, but if I did, please leave a comment. And then if this was a helpful video and you want more like it, please do hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and keep coming back. Uh, until next time, keep it clean, guys.